This is the X1001. This little board will allow you to attach an M.2 NVMe SSD, that's a lot of acronyms, to your Raspberry Pi 5 through the PCIe connector. The installation is super fast and easy, and if you don't care to physically connect this board to your Pi, it's literally toolless. You don't even need any tools. It's just this ribbon. You just open this little ribbon gate thing, slide the ribbon in, snap it closed. Similar deal on the Pi itself, although the ribbon connector is a little different. This one like flips open where this one slides up. The board has different holes on it to work with all the different standard M.2 drive sizes. The difference in speed between an NVMe M.2 drive and a micro SD card is kind of like I don't know, the difference in speed between a high school track athlete and a laser beam. They're not even the same thing. Sure, these things both hold files and will run your, your Pi, but the maximum theoretical throughput on the SD card slot for the Raspberry Pi 5 is 104 megabytes per second. And the actual speed you would actually see with normal use through one of these guys when you're using this computer is something more like 20 to 40 megabytes per second. The maximum theoretical speed of an NVMe drive is more like 32 gigabytes per second, which is 32,000 megabytes per second. Of course, the PCIe 2.0 lane on the Raspberry Pi 5 can't handle that kind of speed, but it can handle 1,000 megabytes per second. And I think that is 1,000 megabytes, not 1,000 megabits. So in reality, 20 to 40 versus 500 to 1,000 as far as the speed goes for these two drives. My point is that these drives are super fast. Which means, with this installed, now your Pi 5 will react to everything you do much, much faster. The micro SD drive on these things is a pretty big bottleneck. I really wanted to run my Raspberry Pi 5 as a Plex server. I don't even know why. I have a NOS with Plex built into it and effectively infinite hard drive space. It works just fine, but I wanted this Pi to be its own little tiny home server. When I was running it off of an SD card, it would occasionally take a long time to load stuff, or sometimes it would even have to buffer in the middle of a movie if it was a 4K movie. Just couldn't keep up. I do not have that problem anymore now that I'm running this off of an NVMe. I just got this little 240 gigabyte drive that I put on here because I haven't really found a serious use for this computer. I just love messing with it. But as far as this board, it works perfectly and it literally improves the functionality of this computer. It's quite a bit snappier, just like doing regular computery things. I do the Raspberry Pi OS, so it's got like a GUI. And also Raspberry Pi OS does use the drive for uh, RAM swap if your RAM fills up. And the latency of a micro SD card compared to this drive is so slow that it's, it's like a brand new computer. It's just a lot snappier. In fact, I would argue that in this configuration, people could use this little thing as their main home computer if all they do is surf the web, do emails and stuff like that. Regular computery things side facing inward toward the fan. You just push that down on there and then push that plastic thing back down. And these little brass stands, you're gonna wanna, and then just screw that to this guy. This sits on here. You only need one there, there, and there. Then the little board just sits on top there. Thing folds up and then Flip that down. No, no, that's in there. It'll only fit one way, so you can't screw it up. This will just go in and then push down.